This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Araby is a short story written by James Joyce. It focuses on an Irish teenage boy emerging from adolescent fantasies into the unkind realities of everyday life in his homeland. He doesn't reveal his identity but narrates his story in first person. For readers familiar with Joyce's literary work, it is obvious that he symbolizes the author. This Araby analysis examines how the boy goes through a disillusioning moment that distorts his ideals. Those experiences alter his viewpoint concerning the world around him. The boy is discovering his deep emotional feelings towards a woman for the first time. He is fantasizing and noticing the women around him. Our Araby essay explores the boy's involvement with a woman, which is evident from his fantasies and imagination. He is experiencing intense sexual desires. Body The author concentrates largely on his characters instead of the plot to disclose the ironies built on self-deception. From a different perception, the short story is the commencement of a boy's pursuit of the ideal. This pursuit, however, fails but brings about an inner consciousness and a step to adulthood. From another perspective, the short story involves a mature man recalling his experiences because the short story is narrated in retrospect by a grown man who remembers a specific moment of profound insight and meaning. Per se, the boy's experience is not limited to the youth's first love encounters. Instead, it depicts an ongoing problem throughout life, the inappropriateness of the ideal, of the fantasy as one desires it to be, with the drabness of reality. This dual focus, the first experiences of a young boy and a mature man who remembers these experiences, creates a dramatic depiction of a short story. The character of the boy is obliquely revealed in the opening setting of the short story. He was raised in the backwash of a vanishing city. Symbolic images portray him to be a person who is insightful to the fact that the vivacity of his city has faded and left remains of empty piousness, the weakest echo of passion and merely symbolic reminiscences of a vigorous concern for people and God. Even though the young boy can't understand this rationally, he believes that the street, the city, and Ireland have become dull and self-satisfied. It is a world of religious stagnation, which makes the boy's viewpoint very limited. He is uninformed and thus innocent. Alone, imaginative, and secluded, he lacks the comprehension needed for appraisal and perception. He is initially as blind as the world he lives in, but the author prepares the readers for his ultimate understanding arousal by confiscating his blindness with an unconscious rebuttal of the world's spiritual stagnation, which is apparent in the disillusioned scene of him reaching the bazaar. The way of thinking of the boy is also apparent in the opening scenes. Spirituality controls the lives of North Richmond Street people, but it is a fading religion and gets only lip service. However, the boy, getting into the new understanding of first love, discovers his glossary within the experiences of his spiritual training and the passionate tales he has read. The outcome is a naive and puzzled understanding of love founded on quasi-spiritual terms and the descriptions of romance. This fusion of two mythologies, i.e., the Christian with sacrifice and hope symbols and the Oriental with its delicate heroism symbols and escape, combine to create in his mind a deceptive world of spiritual and idyllic beauty. This combination, which forms an epiphany for the young boy as he escorts his aunt through the bazaar, allows the reader to experience unexpected enlightenment in the thoughts and texture of his young mind. The reader sees the vainness and obstinacy of his quest. He interprets the world blindly through the images of his dreams. The boy is unusually infatuated with his naive romanticism and obduracy. He must wake up to the hassle of the world surrounding him and respond. Hence, the first half of the short story foreshadows, as the grown man later comprehends, the awakening and disenchantment of the boy. The boy has gone through so many changes as the author takes us through his boyhood and manhood. His boyhood is filled with great imaginations and fantasies, and when he is a grown man, he remembers and realizes all the disillusionments. Most of these changes are taking place in his mind and formed images in his naive mind. 
Conclusion The Araby analysis demonstrates the story of the boy's vain quest, which stresses his lonely romanticism and his ability to acquire the viewpoints he now has. The pursuit ends when he gets to the marketplace and realizes with gradual, tormented clearness that Araby is not in any way what he expected or imagined. It is gaudy and murky and succeeds on the profit motive, and the undying allure of its name stirs up in people. The boy realizes that he put all his optimism and love into a world that is not real except in his innocent imagination. He feels irritated and betrayed and realizes he has been deceiving himself. He thinks he is being driven and disdained by his vanity. The man, recalling this surprising experience from his teenage years, remembers the time he understood that living this dream was no longer a possibility. At the end of the short story, Joyce allows the readers to discover the creature driven and derided by vanity. This essay on Araby by James Joyce Literature Analysis was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.